Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. In case you guys are new to my channel, my name is Dramatic Parrot, and I'm an art channel that posts art videos every Thursday and Saturday, so that's twice a week. So make sure you click that subscribe button down below to make sure you don't miss any videos. Also, make sure you go ahead and check out my art on Instagram. I post a lot of my art on Instagram, plus it's a way for you to connect directly to me by showing me some of your art. Let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial that we're going to do today. This is one that I wanted to do really badly because I grew up with this particular character. It is Captain Underpants. I remember being completely obsessed with Con Captain Underpants in middle school and I am so excited. Little 12 year old me is going crazy because I finally get to see Captain Underpants on the big screen. DreamWorks is making it so I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and jump into drawing Captain Underpants. So we're going to start. Captain Underpants looks like a giant egg to me. So we're going to start with the first egg, which is his head. And it kind of looks like one of those candy drops that you always see. Those dots, dots, they're called dots, but it looks like a candy drop. So we have the shape of his head. Kind of looks like a bell too. So after that, what you're going to do is we're going to jump off to the side right here. We're going to round that out this way. Bring it down and around. Keep going this way. Make sure it's just nice and round so this goes out a little bit. And just to make things easier, I'm going to jump back to the bottom of this side. Bring this down and connect. There we have the entirety of his body. We're going to start with his eyes. So his eyes are all the way up here, so I'm still going to draw my eye line. And then right down the middle, I'm gonna just go ahead and make my nose line still, even though he's an odd looking character. I'm gonna go below these two meeting points, right below it. And then I'm going to make one small oval here, right above his nose. I'm gonna jump over here and make another small oval and then for the, his nose we're gonna jump up inside one point here, jump over here, one point over here as well. And we're just gonna kind of give it more of a nostril look uh, at that top, so nice nostril. And then all the way at the top right here you're gonna draw one eyebrow two eyebrows. For his eyes, you can just make a little shine here and a shine here because he's mostly pupil. He's just like little itty bitty pupils, that's it, no irises. We're going to make his ginormous smile. So I'm going to start off to the side right here. We're going to make this C. We're going to jump down below on this side, make this nice final. I'm going to jump over here and make a backward C. Now I want to connect these two C's together, so I'm going to go like this and connect it. And then I'm going to jump down below and connect this one. Just make a big wide smile. I'm going to bring up this side just a little bit more, just for a bigger smile. Bring down his upper lip just a little bit. You just want to make sure it looks more like a smile as opposed to looking like he's cringing. We don't want a cringy, cringy piece. But after that, I'm going to go ahead and draw right in the middle of that smile from one end to the other. We have some teeth. Now you can go ahead and start dividing those teeth up into places. I always like to start with our middle two front teeth so nothing looks crazy. So we got one, two, three, back here, more. And then I'm gonna jump in the middle again. Make sure that they're lined up with each other so he doesn't look too incredibly creepy. And I'm gonna make his head a little bit pointier on top. And I'm gonna jump over here, make another C on this side of his face. Jump over here, make another C. And just go 
go ahead and give it, the, those are his ears, so you're just gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of definition right here and right here as well. Right about below his teeth, a little bit of space, and I'm gonna draw a circle. And then off to the side of that circle, I'm gonna draw a flower petal. After that, I'm gonna draw another flower petal. And then I'm gonna jump off to the side, bring it around from here, from this flower petal, jump over here, bring this side around. For this side of his cape, I'm going to bring down this side. And since we can see more of this side of his face and his shoulder, I'm just gonna bring it to here. and connect off to this side bring this around not too far out I want a little too far out I'll go right here and then I'm gonna make a circle jump down here go up down connect to there going to make his fist that's folded up on his hip and one his pinky finger is just kind of hanging off to the side over here and we can get rid of these guidelines I'm gonna jump over here to where a cape is and I'm from underneath my cape so starting off to the side bring this down over here bring it out not too far out Out to here make another circle go underneath this part so I want to go out this far so that's our definite line so I'm gonna go underneath around. for his hand we have a thumb they look a lot like paws and we have another finger, another finger, and another finger. Yeah, they look like little, little doggy paws to me. <laughs> and then after this, I'm gonna jump off, I'm gonna jump off to the side where this hand is, make a mark, go where this hand is, make another mark. But this is, it's gonna go up and connect mark to mark. This side should be a little bit up more, and then this side should start to go down to where that mark was. I'm gonna jump below his hand, bring out his underpants. His underpants should be coming out just a little bit. And I'm gonna line that line we just made. This is so funny. And then I'm gonna jump underneath here. Make one line going down this way. And another line going down this way. And then I'm gonna mirror each line that I just made. Jump off to the side. And this one's already kind of, I already kind of did that. Jump on that underpants band and give them a couple of little, they look like sprinkles just the elastic pieces, of little bits and pieces. I'll do that all across his band. I'm gonna jump below here, bring down one leg. Jump off to the side, just a little bit in the, towards the middle. Make a circle over here. Jump over off here, jump down to here, and then jump off to this side. Make sure that the feet are level, so I've got both feet here and here. I'm going to make this his legs just a little bit rounder, and I'm just defining them a little bit.
So this one's gonna go down. We have a toe. We have another toe. And another toe. And I only see four toes. And then we're just gonna round out his heel and round out the bottom of his foot. And then for this side, we have his rounded down heel. Make it nice and rounded up here. Make another toe, another toe, and another toe. And that's all I see is three toes, three toes. So there must be a fourth one over on the other side. And I'm gonna connect to up here. So we have his feet. Now another thing I'd like to do to add to his underpants is just those elastic, like, just like the elastic part of your underpants. <laughs> you wanna go ahead and mark that off, like where it attaches around where the legs go through. Just mark that off and that off. Very similar to what we did up here. He cannot be complete without his cape here. You're gonna go ahead and bring out his cape. And it's gonna look a lot like, kind of like a bat wing. I'm just gonna go out and in. Just gonna bring it out. And I think he wants to be a miraculous ladybug because his cape has black dots all over it. <laughs> And there you guys go. So I really hope you'll go and check out DreamWorks' Captain Underpants. I'm so excited. And Ed Helms is playing the voice of the one and only Captain Underpants. So Ed Helms is one of my favorite actors. So I'm so excited to go and see it. And I hope you'll all get a chance to go see it. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you all later. 